Park. And one of my favorite things to do in the summer is to go stand up paddle boarding. Mainly because it's a great full body workout and because it gives you a whole new view of the waterway. You can also do some pretty cool strokes and moves on it, like the crossboard draw that I just did. Or get into surfer stance, where you can do a pivot turn relatively easy. Again, that crossboard draw into the extended forward sweep. You can do a 360 on a dot. But one of the coolest things about stand-up paddleboarding is you can do it with your entire family. I'm not talking about those two-legged friends, you know, your family members, but the four-legged ones. Whoa! Shira, sit. Sit. Good girl. Hello, this is Shira, my Siberian Husky. And man, does she have a lot of energy. And one of her favorite things to do is to go paddleboarding. Thank you, Shira. Thank you. Oh, yes. Thank you. Oh, yes. Lots of kisses, too. So, come with us as we sup with our pup. Sheer, Sheer, good girl, very good. You're filthy. Okay. Good girl. I know, Rask. Next time, let me to the dirty board. So when you bring your pup board, if you don't have nice sandy beaches, you might have to do a little board cleaning first. Good girl, Sheer. So an important thing to remember when you're supping with your pup is to figure out that balance. You just added a 50 pound anchor to your board. So when she's in front, you're gonna have to step back. And when she's in back, you or both might go under, so be careful. All right, she's in front. So you can see when she's in the front, the front of my board starts to go down, just like that. So what I'm gonna do, she or stay, stay, is I'm gonna take a step back so that it's gonna help us balance a lot better and move pretty well in the water. It's all about keeping the balance when you sup with your pup. Good girl, Shira, stay up front. And then when she comes in the back, it's gonna to wanna to bring you down into that pivot turn. So you either graciously have her go to the front, to your front, go back to the front. And if she doesn't wanna to go to the front, you just move back to the middle section where that hand well is. And I'd like to address that she's not necessarily wearing a life jacket. It would be best to put her in a life jacket, but we're in a small pond here and she really loves to swim. So if I'm in bigger water, I would definitely be putting a life jacket on your pup. You gonna go for a swim, Shira? So he just did really good. You did really good. So when I paddleboard with him, I usually start sitting um, and then maybe kneeling and maybe standing, depending on how comfortable he gets. So if you have a pup who's new to it, those would be some techniques to help you get started. Rascal, you ready to go paddle? No, no, stay. Good. You're on my paddle though. Lay down. Oops. Lay down. Lay down. Good boy. Good. Let's go paddle around a little, huh? Very good. You ready? Good, Rask. down so the board doesn't move because that scares them a little bit. Okay, Rasko, come on. Come on. Good boy. Good. Do you like it? Oh yeah, wet dog.
in addition to sup with my pup, I also like to sup with my skunk. Meet Marv. Can you say hi, Marv? Look at you. Marv's been on the board with me a couple times. He likes to get out and go. Again, we don't have a life jacket for Marv. Who knew? They didn't even make life jackets for skunks. Weird. <laughs> All right, Marv, are you ready to go boarding? Just like with Rascal, I usually start on my knees with Mr. Marv. He likes to touch the water and kind of get a feel for it because he's not used to really being on water. Good boy, Marv. Legged friends might want to try stand up paddle boarding too. Let's go find them. Do you want to? Do you want to? Come on, let's go find them. Here, lead the way. I think we found them. Ducky, our two legged friends. Come on, Ducky. get on my board. I like the ducks though. It only stays in the water. So when you're stand up paddle boarding with ducks, again, a life jack is a good idea, but they don't make them for ducks. Fortunately, they can swim, so I think we're okay. So whoever you decide to uh, stand up paddle board with, dogs, skunks, ducks, snakes, just get out and go have fun on your paddle board. This is Rachel Nagel, Adventure Park. And until next time, <laughs> thanks, Mr. Ducky.